Hi, I'm Nadia and I'm here to share some ideas for very young learner classes. Uh, four to five years old students which can't write and read yet to make sure that we keep them engaged on their seat during the one hour or so. Okay, I'm going to use Google Jamboard for all of these activities because of some reason here. So, uh, with Jamboard, teachers can open a jam session where students can join in and work on the projects collaboratively. So they can draw using this different type of pens and they can also color with this and erase. And also they can move around the sticky notes and resize them or maybe tilt them so they can play around a bit instead of just looking at the screen the whole time. All right. In addition, they can also add some images from their own laptop or from Google Image Search, okay, to make uh, the class more interesting. Okay, let's get started to the first activity. Yeah. Okay, so normally, whenever students come to my class, for example, we have five students. I will ask them to choose some something from here as a reward. So, for example, Anna, what do you want for today's classes? Um, star, miss. All right. So I'm gonna copy the stars and then put it here. Yes. Right. At the end of the class, if they constantly getting a lot of stars for their participation class. Uh, I will ask them to count how many rewards they've got and put it here. Okay. And the winner of the competition, even though it's not really competition, yeah, it's just a reward for being actively uh, participating in the class. Okay. So I'm going to give them like a crown so they become the leader in the class, the king or the queen. Okay. So that's how to use. Jamboard for reward as uh, attendance and participation reward. Yes. Okay, so the second activity would be presentation. So if you're doing some type of storytelling activities beforehand, you can introduce the character using this, for example, like this. Okay, children, we have the main character and her name is Little Rat. Okay, repeat after me. Little rat, little rat, little rat, little rat, little rat, little rat. Okay, and after that, they can uh, play a bit of matching game. So, for example, you ask Anna, Anna, can you find the yellow little rat sticky notes and put that under the character, please? And Anna can take this using the uh, using her mouse and put it under the character and others as well yes all right okay the third one is the interactive storytelling when you ask the students to participate with you okay for example like this okay so uh, once upon a time there was a little girl do you remember her name before little red miss okay why do they call her little red yeah maybe because she's wearing blue not blue, Miss Red. Yes, very good. How about this, Bram? Do you remember? Uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, that's Mom. Okay, very good. And Mom is wearing a blue dress. Yes, yes, Miss Red. Okay, so you keep going until you finish the storytelling and make sure you involve the students so they uh, don't get bored just listening to you. All right, the next activity, the fourth, will be sequencing. So you can ask the students to uh, sequence the story based on the one that already they already listened to. So for example, Chacha, the first one is about Little Red and her mom. It's number one, yeah? What is it? Can you put the picture under the number one, please? And then Chacha can go here and put it there. Maybe how about the second one, Ethan? Hmm, what happened, yeah? 
Do you remember? It's something about the wolf. Oh, yeah, so this one. Okay, so you can, uh, after that, you can proceed with number five activity, which is color race, where you divide the studios into two groups and then ask them to choose the color. For example, Anna, uh, what color do you want for little red hair? I want to red. Okay, red. Uh, okay, now Ethan from the first group and Bram from the second group. You color it together. Okay, so when I say one, two, three, you use the red color to color um, the hair. One, two, three, go. And so Ethan will color it here and Bram color there. And when they finish, you give them one point over here and one point after that. You keep going until the picture uh, is finished. Okay. Next, uh, you can use Jamboard again to introduce different storytelling with mom. Yeah, you can use, uh, for example, Monday. Mom co mom makes. What is that, children? Bread. Very good. And then the next one. So this one is a vocabulary presentation, right? To before they do the role play. Okay. So here the language point is do you like and yes I do or no I don't. So teachers can be little red. Okay, they can press little red and the student take turn become grandma. For example, little red as grandma. Uh, grandma Anna, do you like uh, spaghetti? And then grandma Anna will say, yes, I do. And she will take this and put it under yes. Okay, how about grandma Chacha? Uh, grandma Chacha, do you like pizza? No. And then Chacha will take it, put it under no. That's the role play. Next, survey. So this is similar with the role play, but um, instead of you saying, so this is between the students. And Abraham will ask Anna, Anna, do you like pizza? And Anna will say yes. And move it here. Do you like muffin? Yes. And then after you finish with the set of food, Anna can ask Abraham. And the same question and Bram answer it. And at the end, you can uh, ask students how many people in the class like uh, the, the pizza. And then they can count together and write the number one. You can assign students to write number one on the sticky notes and put it there. Okay. Yes. Next, match and count. So you assign all students to different food and ask them to put them together in their next to their designated sticky notes. And when they're done, they have to count it. Okay, so in this case, we have five pizza. So the students have to add the sticky notes and put five next to the picture. Okay, so you do it as a competition. When you say one, two, three, all the students have to match and count them together. Okay, okay, right. The ninth one is Spellmanism or memory games where you divide the students again into two. So here, Cha Cha, uh, I will show how to play it, yeah. Cha Cha, can you give me two numbers, please? Um, okay, one and three. And Ethan is responsible of two move it away and see. <gasps> if they don't match, you say, ta -da! try again next time. Okay. And whenever they have a match like this, for example, mm, so you ask them to say, I've got two sandwiches. And then you put, the score for them next to their uh, group like this. Okay, they keep going until they have um, revealed, revealed all of the sticky notes, what's under it. Yeah. 
So when you have something, no, when you have a pair, you can put it away. So the students know that the number is already being opened. Okay, move on to the 10th one. You can do tic-tac-toe, but maybe this is for older students where they can think about the strategy, how to beat the others, yes. Again, Cha Cha and Ethan O and Anna Darren Brand X. So you can ask Cha Cha and Ethan, which number? Number one, miss. And then they can, what is that? Sandwich. If it's correct, you change this into their uh, symbols like that. Mm -hmm. And they have to make three in a row. Okay, or four in a row or whatever you want them to make. X in a row like this. So uh, the first one to get X or O in a row of a horizontal or diagonal or practical, they are the winner. Yes. And the next one will be hangman. So again, you assign two teams and then uh, they can shout the numbers, uh, I mean the letters, and the one that can guess the letters, for example, Cha Cha and Ethan say A. Okay, there's an A. Okay. Uh, and there's only one A. So you give them one point every time they guess a, a letter correctly. And at the end, when they can guess everything, for example, okay, number one. Can anyone guess what's that? Uh, it's cake, miss. Yes, very good. It's cake. So, uh huh. You've got one, two, three, four, four point for cake. So you can assign the sticky notes four for this group. And later on, you can add the point and the one that got the uh, the most point uh, will win the competition. Yeah, and every time they guess. The wrong letter, we can draw the hangman over here so they can see. Or you can even assign them to draw yourself to make it uh, more fun. Right. Okay, so that's all for the very young learner. If you have uh, teenagers or others in class, you can also use some features of uh, Jamboard as well. So you can ask them to make live timeline, to uh, practice. Uh, past simple, for example, it will be very interesting because they have to add some sticky notes and also some images to describe uh, their um, sticky notes. Okay, right. And the thirteen one could be you could play twenty question with them first. For example, you can ask them to you can give them a clue. What animal has a very long neck? A giraffe. Is. Okay. Find picture of giraffe, put it here, write down uh, the spelling, and then you give them like five. And with the five animals, you can ask them to make a story in past tense. Like here, Abian make a story about a turtle uh, who wanted to fly like a firefly, and then then uh, he goes on until he write the ends at the end. Okay. So you can use this activity in the class. Uh, another one, the last one is Scrabble. Okay. Um, with the Scrabble, you assign to them as well. And all of them have to work, you take turns to do Scrabble. And they have to score themselves here according to how many letters they make. Okay. This can be done with teenagers. Other than this, there are tons of activities that you can try out also. I put it here. Okay. So normally we can just convert what we do in the real class into this online lesson using Google Jamboard. Okay. Make sure you practice to make different type of activities uh, and use it in the class with your children because practice makes perfect. Okay. Uh, I hope these activities that I share can be useful for you to spice up your class. Thank you so much for coming to this session.